Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Aid Indies Curse of the Azure Bonds. This is the remaster I'm working on with the D Forte Gold Box engine. Let's see, that was a pretty entertaining demo. I don't know if you guys ever watch it, but it changes based on the changes I make in the engine. So uh somehow, well, hey, that is a magic user spell, suggestion. He cast suggestion on the black dragon but it didn't work that was pretty entertaining would have been neat to see what happened if it would have worked hey Bo and Jimmy welcome to the stream how are you guys doing black dragon needs to calm down with those attacks <laughs> yeah they get a lot of attacks those the small small damage ones are when they're they rake with their claws and the high damage one is when they bite it's going good here Bo how about you? You're doing good? Glad to hear that. All right, so last time we were in the caves trying to get out, trying to find Dexum, actually. And we did manage to charm a Dark Elf Lord. So we got him in the party. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. We found Dexum the Beholder. Let's see how this goes. I have been introducing uh, random items into the game. You can see here this Minotaur is a bow stick. Most have battle <laughs> battle axes, but for some reason that one got... And this one has a dagger. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay. Hooded Medusa Beholder. Oh boy, what are we going to do here? Uh, let's try emotion. Uh, let's go after the beholder. I priest is casting. Hmm. Really need to kill that Medusa. I think I'm going to do just a straight fireball. Nice. Dark Elf's getting busy. Wow. The Medusa gazed at the priest and turned him to stone. Okay. What do we got on you? Let's summon some animals. Tigers. <laughs> Jimmy says in the random items equipment will be reflected. Uh-oh. Who just got disintegrated? Death ray death ray failed. I think one of my guys just got disintegrated. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one of my guys just got disintegrated. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Uh, yes. Yeah, the random equipment will be displayed in the treasure screen. And the monsters can equip it, too potentially depending on what it is so if um just for an example rod of smiting is an item i've added so it could be possible that one of them actually uses it against you and then if you can kill them then of course you'll get it yeah one of my guys just got disintegrated i don't know which one it was Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? 8.1 out of 10. Glad to hear it. Slowed. Yeah, he's channeling, so we're just going to delay. Mm-hmm. 
Tiger runs in terror. Tiger's killed. Tiger's stoned. And those beholders know how to take care of business. <laughs> we'll have to reload. We got owned. I think we'll win, but man, the amount of damage we just took was ridiculous. Dark Elf Lord's disintegrated. He even disintegrated the Dark Elf Lord. Man, beholders are rough. It was Sever who left his mortal coil. Hey, Jeff, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Jeff says, I accidentally started the stream and paused it for a few seconds. I was like, dang, D Forte is really thinking hard on this strategy. This is going to be good. <laughs> I probably should have thought a little more so we didn't get disintegrated. Half my party's running now from the Beholder's Flea spell. Moody's the only one left taking them on. Oh, even Moody's scared now. <laughs> They're all running away. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we're going to reload. I just want to see how funny this ends up being. Ah, oh, Moody got stoned. <laughs> ah, Bow Ladder came back. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Spock, welcome. How are you doing? You love the Beholder graphic? Yeah, it's pretty sweet, isn't it? Beholders are ridiculous. I <laughs> say strong, Moody. Yeah, we got blasted. It, I should have played that smarter, but since I know, I'm not playing Iron Man, I, didn't, I wasn't really concerned about it. Otherwise, I would have played smarter there. Low ladder got stoned. Tiger stoned. There we go. 25,000 experience. Because these guys got away. Yeah, they shouldn't have got all this stuff. So that's a bug I just found. Okay, well, that's a reload anyway. <laughs> Moody says, I really like the Beholder. You know, beauty's in the eye of the Beholder. <laughs> that is true. Okay, now that we know this fight's coming up, let's alter our order. We're going to move the Dark Elf Lord to the front. High Priest, you'll be third. And let's cast some preparatory spells here. Jimmy says, with all new spells, I'm sure we could have taken steps to mitigate a lot of the Beholder's offense. Yeah, there's even uh, the Gaze Reflection spell. It only lasts one round, though. So you have to cast that the first round. Let's see. Protection from Fire. I think that might protect a little bit against one of his rays. Animal growth, definitely do that. Phantom armor, put that on D Forte. Blur, yep. 
mirror image. Enlarge. Dark Elf Lord. Haste. Yeah, we got all kinds of bonuses coming now. Okay. Medusa. Jimmy says also, even though several party members fled when it was over, the whole the party stayed whole. We didn't lose anyone. Yes. Um, and I'm trying to debate on how I want to handle that. Because in the original game, your characters are permanently gone. Which was really rough. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to do that. So for now, I do have them in the party, I believe. So I have to I have to figure that out. And technically they should be gone, I would assume. The other option is I can make it where their status is gone and potentially there might be a spell to bring them back. Like to teleport them back into the party. I'm gonna have to research that more. All right, so the Beholder. Let's come over here and do a monster summoning. Mr. Spock, you're going after the Beholder. Man, look at that fighter. Okay, Moody. Three shots, that's good. Okay, yeah. All right, we survived that. I'm not sure what just happened there. It's something about being cured. Uh, I'm going to have to watch the replay on that. Take some hits for the team here. All right, let's equip. Oh, you already have a shield plus two. Okay, where's your sword? There we go. Haste. Haste and enlarge. Jimmy says, I always carry a doggy bag and magic dustpan to sweep up the ashes of this, <laughs> this great party members. Mr. Spock says, look at me stabbing. Always be stabbing, ABS. <laughs> yeah. In some butt there. Okay, let's switch back. Let's see, Moody. Yeah, he's the fighter assassin. Switch him back to the dragon slayer. Slay living, ooh. Nice. All right, and the Zentil fighter is stoned. So I'll drop him. Scroll, scroll, clear, scroll, scroll. See what else we got. Sp 
one mail, plate mail. Okay, I don't think I need any of that. So here's the thing to let you in on a little secret. So I'm adding so many new items that are in the Dungeon Master Guide. I'm making the hidden names be just like this. Like if you find a special kind of Joe stick, it'll just say Joe stick and it'll have the asterisk just like others. But since there's new types, if you leave things behind, you could potentially be losing a really cool special item. So it's going to make the, the uh, magic user spell identify even that much more important. I have to think about that spell's very limited. Like you can only cast it once per day and then they have to have a bed rest for a long period. So it's kind of limited unless you have multiple magic users. Um, you could pick one up, an item, you're like, oh, what's this military pick? And then identify it in the inventory screen. But then that's all you're going to be able to do for that treasure because you won't be able to do it again. So collecting items is going to be a, a bigger thing. The other thing I read about in the rules is... Gary Gygax said the weight on the item takes into account the bulkiness already. So some items like scrolls will weigh 30 because they're bulky and to carry them around takes up space. So in my mind, what that means is you should not be limited on inventory slots. So like if you go in here... There's only so many items you can carry. Bulkiness isn't a thing because it's already taken care of with how many items you can pick up because of encumbrance. So I think I'm going to extend this screen so it scrolls so that you can have infinite number of items as long as you can carry the weight since it encompasses bulkiness already. So that'll make it where leaving items behind isn't quite as much of a thing as long as you have strong characters i will have to figure out how to handle it like if you're enlarged and you pick stuff up and then the enlarged wears off i might have to dump items or something but anyway that's something i have to deal with in a little bit Okay, so what do we got? We got cler high priests, clerics, mages. Yikes. Okay. I think... Let's hit this magic user. Hit this cleric. You take down this magic user. Uh-oh. They're starting to cast already. Okay, we got those down. Stever. You have a magic staff sling. Nice. Ah, he threw a hammer. See, that guy had a magic hammer. <laughs> nice.
Man, I'm gonna miss this Dark Elf Lord when his charm uh, goes away. He's been tearing it up. Club. Okay, so you can throw clubs from melee range. So we're going to pick that up. Staff sling is not magical. I made daggers throwable too because they're, they, you are supposed to be able to throw them. Okay. No exit. Hypnotism. Nice. So he's going to surrender. I chose surrender as the option. And attack him. Mr. Spock says, are you already thinking ahead of what the next remaster will be? Um, are you saying like which game I'm going to remaster? Because I'm adding to this engine so it's universal, going to be universal across all. Yeah, it'll be, probably be Pool of Radiance. Because I'm uh, making, like I said, I'm making this universal. It's going to take quite a bit of effort, I think, to, uh, to redo that. All the stuff I'm doing will, will work and be included, but all the events and things in the game, I have to decode and figure out how all that stuff's working. And then try to pull it in. And if I can't, then I'll have to um, recreate it all. But that's my plan. Yeah, and that'll be amazing. Pool of Radiance has so much content. But before I get to that, like I'm adding in a bunch of stuff to Curse Azure Bonds. I plan on having. Like all the town pictures, I'm going to update all those so they're all unique. They reuse the same graphic of the same guy in like every town, you know, for... In the original town, Tilburton or whatever it is, they reuse that same graphic for the training hall, the bar, the shop. So I want to replace that. Just simple things like that. Then the overhead map in Curse the Azure Bonds, I'm going to add all kinds of new monsters, random monsters that you can fight. I'm going to add in new random events there as you're traveling between the different sections, you know, those little circles. Uh, because all that, I can greatly expand this game and add in just all kinds of things. Mini quests, lots of new animals. Because I feel like the outside fighting is so limited, the number of monsters and things you fight. And I feel like It'd be really cool if there were a lot more things that could happen outside. So I plan on doing that too. And then after I get this really 
ironed out where I'm happy with all that, then I'll probably work on a pool of radiance. Dead end. Attacked by manticores. Oh. Ah. And another Dark Elf Lord. Yeah, and then they asked me, you guys asked me on Discord about um, Psionics. I do plan on implementing Psionics too, but I might do that in like version 2 or something. I don't know yet on that. Because I want to get it out where people can start playing it. I don't want to have like an infinite things to do before I can actually get it out there to the masses, you know. Uh, don't have much you can do. Wall of Fire would actually be great here. The way these guys are situated. Mr. Spock said the nice thing about this whole project is all the assets will be uh, will be reusable for you or at least easily exchangeable. You have a great library to work from. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to do this. Sheesh. This is going to be a reload. Moody just passed the 500,000 channel point mark. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going to be a reload. I'm just going to reload. I also want to drop this guy. Dumped him in the ditch. That's what it said. Okay, this is the mana core fight again. Let's do some enlarges. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot less this time. Wow. Dark Lords are attacking each other. Have in your hand somewhere. Cause light wounds. That's what you decided to cast. Priest.
Nice. Gems. I think it's time to memorize. Looking for the looking forward to the illusion is getting a higher level spell. We have to rest thirteen hours. Ogres. Just ogres, okay. Oh no, there is a dark elf lord right there. I'm gonna do dancing lights. Ah, that's a bug. Okay. Said he already had dancing lights because I had cast it in a previous battle. Let's see, let's try summon insects. We can get that to work on that dark elf lord. It'll keep him busy. Probably gonna fail. Got him. Nice. He's going to be busy. Or did it. So, okay, the shield's not magical. Thank you. 
Ground begins to tremble. Here we go. We made it. We didn't really make it because we're not doing an Iron Man run, but. Okay. One last center, right? Yes, yeah, City of Sealy. Okay, Journey on. Flan. High Priest leaves the party. Is Charmor off? Here we go. Training all guys. All right. Boat ladder. Oh, gotta get some money. Store. Let's first identify some junk. We don't have a cleric. Scroll. Illusionist scroll. Shield plus two. Go to Mr. Spock. Flub wagon. <laughs> yeah, that's not right. <laughs> it's a club wagon. <laughs> Illusionist. Daggers plus one. Okay, anything else? Nope. Okay, let's save it for a train. All right, bow ladder. We don't train that class here. We don't train rangers. Okay. Yeah, that's not right. There's there's a bug. Let me see what's causing that. Unless. I'm gonna set a breakpoint. I want to see why it's saying that. Maybe that is a thing. Oh, I'm not running in debug mode. Hang on. It's training him. I think it was because I wasn't running in debug mode. It was using a different config file. Okay, level 10 ranger. Yes. Ty gets another spell. I'm going to get identifier. Sever. He gets a weapon proficiency. You can see acid and poison are added to the list now. These are possible items you can find. Uh, Sever's a druid. Let's get a spear. Mr. Spock. He's the illusionist. He's the illusionist, right? Big crossbow? Is he an illusionist thief? He's an illusionist thief. Let's do dagger. Oh, good. We get his illusionist level increase, too. Level four. Confusion, dispel exhaustion. Proved invisibility, dispel magic. 
Hmm. We do improved invisibility. Nice. Never. Ooh, he gets a sixth level spell now. Cure critical wounds, feeble mind, animal summoning three, conjure fire elemental, anti animal shell, and wall of thorns. Got some really good ones there. Hmm. Let's do Wall of Thorns. And then let's see. Summon Insects. Let's get another Cure. Since I don't have a Cleric. Okay, cool. Ah, you know what? The Dark Elf Lord's Drow Armor disappeared. <laughs> yeah, his Drow equipment disappeared. That's great. Yeah, because normally <laughs> they're never outside the area. It's chaotic evil. So we need to give them something. He's going to disappear fairly soon, but... I will just buy them some normal equipment. He had a shield. Let's get him a long sword. Light mail. Okay. So the only place left is the final area, Zen, or, uh, what's it called? Myth Draenor. So let's go to Hillsfar. See, here's an example. This is what it shows when you go into Hillsfar. It's the same graphic that's a pain in the butt. I mean, at least I'm going to swap out and make an appropriate graphic for each town. But I may even go beyond that and, like, actually make the Hills Far Town itself where you can explore. But that would definitely be a future patch if I do that. Jimmy says, can the charmed enemies be uncharmed mid-fight, give you the opportunity to charm them? Yes. Well, here's what happens. If they get uncharmed... They surrender and they quit. So they will disappear from the battlefield if they leave based on a timeout. It's not that they'll join the other party and fight against you. They'll disappear. But you could cast Charm. I think I made it where you could cast Charm on them again. I'm not sure. I may have made it where you won't be able to cast it on them again. Yeah, I'll have to think about how I want that to behave. Because, I mean, if they're already charmed, it doesn't really make sense that you should be able to just charm them again. That's the whole point of the saving throw when it times out, is so that things won't become charmed indefinitely. And, you know, in theory, it would, it would apply to you as well, as, as your characters got charmed. So... I don't think I want to make it where you can charm them again. Now, if you charm dumb things, they're a lot less likely to uh, pass the saving throw. 
and the more intelligent they are, the more likely they will. Um, Charm Monsters lasts a week. That's its timeout. It's different. No matter how smart the thing is, it's a week. It's just once the week is over, the, the smarter it is, the greater the chance that it passes its saving throw. Charm Person or Mammal, and then Charm Person does the duration based on how smart they are. So it does the it does uh, it is different based on what you cast. The other thing is um, there's a permanency spell. I don't think I remembered seeing charm in the list. I did implement permanency, and it works for like enlarge and some other spells. Protection from evil. I think it works on that, but I don't think it did charm. I'll have to double check it. <laughs> Jimmy says seagulls love. Hills far. Or maybe they uncharmed during camp, which these encounter. I I don't have them do that, no. They wander off. When I read the description of charm, how it works, they don't immediately like it's not that they become violent. In fact, it said the charmed person is really only like influenced by the person that charmed them they may not even like the rest of the party so it's not like when the charm will wear off all of a sudden they just get mad and want to kill everybody that's not how charm is was intended to work it's more like think of it as like a daze where they're not under that hypnosis anymore and they're just kind of like they just wander off like oh man what happened type of situation Okay, let's see. Let's journey on. Standing stone. There, he just left the party. So when you jet, when you move across the map, there's a lot more time passes. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we do journey on. Yeah, that's Ranner. Enter. Okay, I'm going to save this under C. Okay, we do want to go north. Okay, these we can parlay with. Here we go. This is where we want to be. The queen will see you. Go upstairs. Staff sling, ring, scroll, ring, light crossbow, blessed corals. Okay, I think. Yeah, we're giving those to D4 to the, the crossbow. Staff sling. Let's give that to Sever. Okay. 
Invisibility. So that's the Ring of Invisibility. This ring, I'm not sure what it is. Minus four. Six. Okay, that's a ring of protection plus two. I don't know if I have a display here. Hang on, let me look at spills. 16, 11, 12, 16. Yeah, it's not showing. It's supposed to improve saving throws. I know one of the rings was bugged in the game. But it may not show here. 15. Yeah, I'll have to research that. Let's see. Tyran Raxus. Path. Ah, uh, yes. The Rakshasas. All right, let's do it. Hey, Bow Ladder, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Entrance is guarded. Do you attack? Yes. Oh yeah, I do have improved invisibility. Okay, let's try paralyzation. Wall of Thorns. Let's use our new Wall of Thorns. Let's see if we can charm something here. Oh, yeah, we charmed the Margaru. <laughs> and positioning it down is... can shoot at them. Now, why did this guy, he's charmed, but he's still, he's still yellow. Okay. Uh, 
I think he probably passed his saving throw. And it's said that he didn't. So that's the bug. This guy held? It's held. Quintran, ooh. Level 11 magic user. Okay. Uh, if you bring me his head, you will be forgiven. Who do you attack? We're going to attack Beirut. Okay, we got the Rakshasa in our party now. Tarishaya. Let's see. Let's try Paralyze. Wall of Fire. Now we can just guard. <laughs> Eric Schatz is running through the wall of fire. Like, oh, this is this is a nice little hot tub. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, okay, we surrender. <laughs> so there is one that's held. Let's see if the Rex Schatz had plans on running over there. There you go. We'll let him kill it. <laughs> hey Tim, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? This proves he's cheating. Have a good day. He moves quickly. Okay. So we get to take the treasure in here. You're having a fun Sunday? Glad to hear that, Tim. Yeah, I am having a great day, too. Thanks for asking. Scrolls again? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I did have some illusion of scrolls. Nothing to write home about. South. Thank you, Tim. Ah, I lost a spell.
So we rescued this guy. Northeast, your word, okay. Yes, we pay. I don't think I can get over there without going through that. De Forte just died to a wall collapsing on top of him. <laughs> That's hilarious. It said someone died. I could swear it said that. But now look here, it doesn't say dead. I'll have to look after combat. Maybe I misread it. Backstab. <laughs> Jimmy says, Tyrant Thraxus isn't known to hire the best contractors. Yeah, he is dead. That's hilarious. <laughs> what a way to go. Uh... Uh, we're not doing an Iron Man, so I don't really care anyway. Let's see. Meek. Yes. All right. One of these we can rest in. Just have to find the right square. Tried that one, right? Oh boy. Summon, maybe? Uh, let's do Call of Cold first. Well, <laughs> we just got it. Trying to move away.
Been trying to lost the spell again. That's the charm bone. Why is he still showing yellow? Yeah, I, I have something messed up with charm. Fix that. Man, Mr. Spock is taking some damage. He's got one hit point left. Goes down. Bandage. I did fix so humanoids are the only type that can bandage because there was a bug where like a, a boar was bandaging my party members. I did add that in there. <laughs> Backstab. Just another day of getting beaten to a pulp, <laughs> Mr. Spugsy. Okay. Is this the safe square? Yeah. Okay. And D Forte's dead. That's fine. Let's see. So I'm trying to think of what fights are going to be coming up here. There's a big fight coming up. I don't remember what the monsters are. Let's get animal summoning three.
in the Tyranthraxus fight? No, um, there's some other fights we have to get through before that can happen, Jimmy. Alright, so now we're looking for some items here. Here it is. Here's the cache. So the girdle, I think, is giant strength. I don't remember what the gauntlets are. Ten. Seven. Okay. Already using gauntlets of dexterity. Sixteen. Okay, so those were gauntlets of dexterity. Get a dragon slayer. Okay. Girdle. 24 strength, that's ridiculous. Is that even right? That seems excessive. I thought it was 22. 24 is storm giant strength, isn't it? That seems ridiculous. Jimmy says, I was thinking at tracks you might not remember. You almost exclusively play Curse as an Iron Man. So you'd often not make it this far. <laughs> no, I make it this far. I've beaten this several times on stream. Iron Man. Mr. Spock says, have to fight the other misspelled dinosaurs before we fight <laughs> T-Rex. Yeah, T-Rex. Uh, we're going to say no. I'm going to do improved invisibility. Actually, let's... Oh, I don't have haste. Nameless. Okay. Big fight. This isn't really the big fight, but. Okay.
Okay, I don't think I need any of that. All right, now I think I want to go. Which way is this? It's west. I want to go north. East. Northeast. Some insects. Actually, we're going to garden to you. Oh, he threw a magic hammer and made me lose my spell. Foiled by a magic hammer. Definitely want that hammer. Let me get rid of some junk here. Let's see. East. Yeah, we want to go northeast, I think. This is the door I think we want. Wait, how far is that? 20? Another magic hammer. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Oh, uh, now I don't know which way to go. North East Corner. Yeah. Two Hollands, okay, we can deal with that.
Which I feel like this might be the room. Yeah, we got dust of disappearance somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I ran Thraxis. All right. Wall of fire could be kind of fun here. Let's start with that. Quentran lost his spell. So we're not invisible. Yeah, so so there's a bug with the uh, dust of disappearance. I'm going to have to look at it. That's why we do the tests. Jimmy says that's another thing you thought about editing dust bears to make it less game breaking. Or is the dust rules is written in game? Um I have to look it up, Jimmy. I think it's proper. I think it is according to the rules. I think it's just like improved invisibility. But I do need to double check on it. I didn't prep much because I assumed the dust of disappearance would work properly, but it didn't. So I have to uh, fix that. A lot of gargoyles, yeah. Yeah, I'll redo this fight. I just want to see how much we can do until then. keep trying this because I keep running out of what he keeps hitting me before I can cast. Protection from lightning, that's appropriate. We'll test that out. Didn't work. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, he did take reduced damage, didn't he? I need to double check. I don't think it worked. I think it's supposed to Make it where it absorbs damage. Another thing to check on. Did 
Jimmy says, yeah, Tyrion Thraxus and his army of Margoyles featuring a few evil clerics. slug running into the wall of fire. teammate is dying warp wood he doesn't have anything summon insects that might work on him so that ah sever lost his spell A. So let me look at something here. Okay, so it doesn't show invisibility. Now it's claiming invisible. It shows invisible. Then when we go into battle, it's gone. Let's see if we can prep. Is there anything we can do? Blur. Rolls. Minor globe. Fire shield, hold. You don't really have anything useful, I don't think. Visibility, 10 foot radius. Well, that would allow us to move. Sprinkled some dust on D4 Day's corpse. Yeah, that, that is pretty funny. It's like, ah, hide this, hide this dead body. Yeah, I still need to figure out how to deal with. Yeah, they're still coming toward me. I'm not sure why they can see me when I say invisible. Priests have the ability to detect invisible. I need to look at that. Yeah, they're all seeing me. Yeah, it's definitely broken. I wonder... Iron Thraxus doesn't have the ability, maybe. Because it doesn't show Detect Invisible. But I think I may have hidden that, actually. So that you don't know if they can see you. Alright, so what we're going to do here... 
Let's do a cone of cold. We can do for you. Boat lighters taking one for the team. Now, if I go here, it'll go vertical. If I go here, it'll go downward. I think I'm going to go here. I want to get the mage out of the way. I'm going to do a dimension door here. Let's think of the best place to go. I think over here, actually. It would be kind of funny to do plant growth in the wall of fire. <clears throat> so it costs more movement to try to get through the wall of fire. <laughs> Lost the spell. I do have a plan. I'm going to crisscross the walls of fire and try to get them to run up to us. I think I still have one on the mage. Jimmy says, I was thinking of the exact application of wall fire, which made me think that it was too strong side. No, it's not, because it can be used against you. There are monsters that are going to be using it. I don't think color spray will work on these. <laughs> okay. Yep, I still have my wall of fire. The other thing is, I am going to make the monsters smarter. Right now, they're really dumb. They're going to be a lot smarter so that they don't just run into the wall of fire. Unless they have no choice. Okay, now, back with this. Get out of the fire. Let's 
Yeah, the original AI intelligence is really dumb. I'm going to uh, fix that to make it smart. I'll probably do it based on the intelligence and wisdom of the character. Mr. Spock's killed. I think he's just magic resistant. I'm not sure anything will work on him. Stinking Cloud, I think, might have just worked on him. Helpless. There he is. <laughs> Stinking cloud for the win. Wall of fire, he walks right through it. Stinking cloud. Chokes and gags. <laughs> Mr. Spock says, Again? I'm going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> it's funny. Ah, that guy just cast Magic Stone. That's great. He has a minor glove and vulnerability. I don't remember. Um, no, he can't. Otherwise, it would have shown. And it wouldn't have worked on him. He just ruined his flail. The High Priest loses his flail. <laughs> ruined flail. Okay, let's see if we can shoot. That guy's blocked. Not sure I can get into a position to see that guy. No. He's coming up anyway. What? Oh, protection from evil. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a bug. Oh, cloak of fear. Maybe that's what's causing that. Ah, oh, I bet that is what caused it. Cloak of fear on enemy caused us to not be able to hit him. So it works properly when the computer is controlling, but when you're controlling it, finally made us afraid, but we're not actually fleeing. It needs to flip the flag to computer controlled. That's what happened there. Okay. Ah, insects are thwarted by the fire. <laughs> See, I forget once again. Ah, now he's running. Okay, so it did work, but it was one round too late. Moody can do the honors. Success with a bugged uh, dust of disappearance. Bo says stinking cloud gets nerfed so bad in the latest D and D PC games. Yeah, I know. I know it does. Hey, we could take his magic stones. They won't last long. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Thanks for GG. I never feel like a GG is worth it when, uh, like, it, you don't earn the GG when you don't Iron Man. But I wasn't going to Iron Man when I had all these bugs to work out. 
So once we get all the bugs worked out and everything done, then I'll do an Iron Man attempt. But until then, I'm not going to do that. And there we go. I'm not seeing the fireworks. There's supposed to be fireworks. Yeah, that's another bug. Fireworks weren't displaying. And that, of course, was the source code I took. Not doing that properly. There's a lot of things that were broken that I have fixed since. But that one obviously needs it. All right. Pretty good. Not too many bugs tonight. Yeah, I could see the flickers, but it didn't show the actual fireworks. <laughs> so yeah, my plan is to keep adding new items, doing enhancements. Um, there's some more spells I want to add. Then I want to add some random encounters. And possibly some subquests on the overland that I was talking about. There's really not that many monsters in the game. I'd like to add some more monsters in. And then I think I'm ready for it to be used by other people. I do need to put in the copy protection that checks to make sure you have a valid install. Um, GOG, Steam, I'll check other builds that people, if they point me to or provide me another build, I'll put that in. I'll do the DOS version, the original there. But yeah, looks like we were level, what, 10 or 11 by the time we finished. And right now I have the level cap being like 18 or 19 or so for each class. So we weren't anywhere near reaching the level cap when we just went through the game normally. You know, without trying to grind or anything. Tim says, really liking this. People will totally enjoy this once it's ready. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, I hope so. That's why I'm doing it. But yeah, um, on Discord, I'm putting in some of the items that I've added, but I'm going to stop doing it and not do all of them. Maybe just occasionally post some because I want there to be surprises when people play it. I'm trying to think of what else. So I have the Cavalier done. I have the Unicorn for elf female elves done. Once you reach level 4, you get one. The way the mounts work is if you go into a dungeon, they can't be used. So what happens is they don't go away. They just won't show up in combat. And then once you leave the dungeon and you're back on over, over land map, and then all of a sudden they appear again. So I decided to not put in a timeout where they just leave you because that's such a pain in the butt. There's other things that the game did like that where it just took liberty. And just assumed it was happening. Like flasks of oil. You're supposed to light the flask of oil. And that's supposed to take a few segments. And you have to have a rag. And a fire source. And all this stuff. So the fact that they didn't implement that. It's like yeah there's going to be some things. That you just have to assume. Are just that way. You know. Just for the sake of making it more convenient. So the mounts are going to be one like that. Oh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Jimmy says, we're enjoying it even if it's not ready. Good. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate it. Um, there are some things that I was going to do that I decided to roll back. Like Originally, I was going to give Hobbits a bonus to hit with slings. Give Dwarves a bonus to hit with Battle Axe and stuff. And then I decided against it. I decided... 
I'm going to stick with the original rules when I found there were so many things that SSI did not do according to the original rules. And the more I read the original rules, the more I realized how fair they were and a lot more balanced than I thought they were originally. Like, the way SSI decided to do things, and I, I'm not blaming them or anything. There's reasons why they did it the way they did, I'm sure. But implementing it more like the original rules has made given me a lot more confidence in what Gary Gygax did. Like, I used to blame him for some things. I'm like, man, that's just dumb. Well, come find out it wasn't him. That was SSI. He, what he did in the rules, I'm like, man, that's actually really good. So I decided to go back on some of the ideas I was going to change, some of the balance things, and uh, just implement his rules exactly the way they really should be. So we'll, we'll see how it works out when people actually play it. So anyway. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. The Gary Gygax emoticon. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.